the Ram Ram arm. Like, yes. constantly throwing out this tilt that covers so much circular space, like, so much of center stage. And Bowser's a big body, in case uh, y'all didn't know. So getting around Min Min by the typical means of, like, jumping around is going to have to be way more extreme and way more early commitments in order to make sure that you can properly move, which Obese Fart immediately takes advantage of by not only anti-airing, but then taking out the down tilt, forcing off stage as well, trying to find a stock with some, that falling up air. Instead, we're just back to basics, Min Min ledge trapping. Um, Thumbling King, you're my go. You're playing a big old body That's into a, Min Min. That and is you're, a turtle. That is a... Big old turtle with spikes. He has big claws. Is not gonna go well. And I think Thunder King has to do so much more extra work uh, to really negate the long range of Min Min. I think Obese Fart just knows that you can't do much about this, especially if you're trying to recover low. That downward angle uh, is going to be keeping Dumbling King offstage even longer than expected. But thankfully, dude, get the jump in. Dumbling King trying to get center stage control, but we are kind of narrowly missing a lot of our connections, a lot of our grabs, a lot of. We got show break. You let that happen. I'm sorry. You got that happen. I'm sorry. I'm a. I'm the king. I should just shut up for us yeah. in a I shouldn't have that, that with you. Bro, why did that work? <laughs> if Bowser sat on me, Ubo, I would also have a mental shield break. Like. <laughs> Not that the shield broke. That's normal. Why he did you let it He happen? did it from the top, <laughs> from top the rope. <laughs> He did it from like as close to the blast zone. He was at the as top of the could. screen. <laughs> and he the let that <laughs> rip. <laughs> like, all right, bro, you got it. <laughs> the stock is immediately taken with an up smash of oh. OP's for its own. An opportunity here, taking advantage of the mistech as well. No delay, get up on the part of Obi's fart. Instead, just getting hit by the upbeat. Gotta make the most out of this alleged trap by any means necessary, but just the chipping away from Obi's fart slowly whittles him back onto stage. Ooh. Oh, that's the last second air dodge. I avoid that up That was so good for Obi's fart. And, but what's not good is the positioning here. It's a complete reversal of what Mimin wants. Mimin does not want to be the one trying to get back with Sergeant's control, especially against Bowser, who will absolutely use, it to, use that to his advantage. I love Love the quick recovery to Meta Ledge and then the Nair just come in and avoid, um, not, not, not avoid, not allow Obese Part to get anything for themselves. And then the command guard on the platform is going to be taking it almost, kissing the blast, but not quite burnt yet. Again, maybe setting up for like a neutral getup or trying to really uh, take advantage of Obese Part doing something really close to the ledge. This is a re grab. Oh, but Del didn't have enough anticipation in his butt, still finds the up tilt afterwards. Still keeping his uh, his position directly into the corner and trying to make Obese Bart panic. And you see Obese Bart getting that little antsy. You saw the yeah. upbeat come out to try to reach uh, Dumbling King before we could be covered back to the stage. But Dumbling King very smart in the way that he avoided all that to get back on center stage. And we do have Bowser with Rage. We have a heavy on top of it. We have four airs coming out, but we're getting a little bit too antsy. Now we're off stage against Mimmin. And thankfully, Obese Bart does not get the correct area of the edge guard, but does in fact get the up smash. Because why are you laying on top of me? Why are you right above me? Look what happens. I mean, that's what you should have done earlier. But you know. <laughs> Oh, what <laughs> just trade with it. Don't take the shield break. You're at 35. Just trade with it. It's you should have left. You should. Yeah, uh, personally, yeah, I would have um, leave. I would have simply um, <laughs> moved to the right. <laughs> and we slide to the right. I would be like, yeah, let me just go over there. And you're, you're gonna be in your end lag, and I come back, and I like, you know, I kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, the proper punish on the part of Obese Fart to take that game, which was getting scary. I was physically twitching oh, on, we, uh, uh, yeah. uh, as we saw the potential edge guard come out from uh, Dumpling King at the end of game number one. And those type of opportunities you have to press on, especially as Bowser. you got to take advantage of your speed and your ability to edge guard very reliably, particularly with that forward air. You already see Dumbling King is on a much more aggressive start here. Jumping right down, going in for that up B again, and going in for that jab to send uh, Obese Fart offstage once more. And, uh, and again, Obese Fart is struggling to maintain any kind of center stage control where Min loves to be in. It's kind of like, you know, that that's where she is most comes at her house in the middle of the stage. And oh, Dumbling King is like, well, I'm not going to let you be here. I'm going to continue to keep you offstage, keep you a little bit uncomfortable. I love that Obese Fart is going in with the roll in, trying to get Dumbling King off of uh, pretty much their land right now. Yeah, just really trying to push the envelope. Constantly missing the back air after that neutral air, thanks to the tech on the platform from Obese Fart. But Damn. getting caught with the forward tilt here, Mont. We're seeing it yet again. Can Dumpling Gang take this stock? Yes. Ooh. 
Not quite, not oh. from all the way on the other side of that stage. 143 is the percentage on the on this Min Min, yet they are still thriving. Even the up tilt whiffing, forcing Dumpling King once again to dig into that bag of defensive resources. <gasps> oh, and the Dragon Laser takes the stock near max rage, and that is a maximum death there from Dumpling King, something he definitely did not want to take after leading for so long in this game too. No, you didn't. You were always you're already in the blast zone, and you just got pushed even further. I I'd be a little bit. Mm, my controller about to turn off, but beautiful connection for Dumpling King to make it back to a uh, more even moment here. Even though we are getting a little a little bit uh, unequal here, sixty percent, twenty nine percent. Not the most worst thing in the world, and at least the the best thing you know as a heavy as a Bowser main is. The more percentage you get, the more rage you have, and the more scary this does get for a beast part when Bowser does inevitably come in like that with the Nair. Beautiful stuff. You're back off stage, get the roll it, and then punish the roll in with the stationary up B. Oh, that's so well played. Oh, beast part has been doing such a good job at maximizing the space he's been giving. Dumpling oh. King is pressing oh. forward constantly, near constantly, but with the ability just to say, like, all right, I'll take what I'm given, I'll go to ledge. I'll maximize all of this space because my arms reach four so far. Fortunately, did drop the stock thanks to a cheeky down air coming out from Dumpling King. And this Bowser still surviving despite all of that space. Holy, that was such a good uh, flying slam in order to maximize this lead as much as possible. Sticking to the game plan and keeping Min Min in the corner. For sure, that jump on fair was honestly very needed here to keep a beast far even for even more far forward into the uh, into the uh, off stage. And again, finally, beast far getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of a start here to get a, maybe another com another comeback in this second game where they're looking more into uh, Double King's favor. Again, keeping off, uh, keeping Obi's far off stage. We get the forward there. We see them the Kings thinking about do I want to go in? Do I want to come back out? We opt to go back out. We get the grab, and that's not going to be quite enough. Surprisingly, so lack of rage on the King is going to be allowing Obi's far to live a whole a little bit longer than expected. Even then, the, uh, the stationary up B not going to be enough once more. But Obi's far, although we're living, are we really living though? We're not really getting our our, our win condition, and just like that, we get up tilted. The footstool will save them for a moment though. Getting that literal invulnerability to get away from the up air, but yeah, Obi Star took the long, uh, excuse me, Dumpling King took the long route in order to uh, close out the stock there. Just stick into the game plan, stick into his guns, which I do not uh, disagree with at all. He, he did have an air dodge in the blast zone, but just decided, you know what, I'm going to stay on stage and I'm going to give Min Min the respect she deserves off stage with the amount of range advantage that she has. So I'll play to my guns and play to my own explosiveness, which is done best in close quarters like this. Look at how, look at how many times uh, Dumpling King is just being like, all right, I'm here, you're on ledge, this is the range we're dealing with. Yes. We're not dealing with full stage. Ooh, like but Ron as Callis. we talk about full stage, <laughs> Ooh, the full stage we're on. Probably the fullest stage of all time. But at the very least, although there's a lot to deal with, you also have spa really spaced out platforms. Um, so that does give you at least a little bit more range, at least away from Mimin, where, she, you know, unlike Small Battlefield, she can definitely reach those platforms where her arms. Right. Bon Carlos is a little bit more uh, further for her to reach, but it's also a little bit more difficult for Dunlake to actually get anything started here because the platform being so far away from each other, it's a matter of, well, how do I really get in this space? And that's also one way to do it, and thankfully we catch, we catch it right back up with the up B again. And just being able to chill and like center stage like this may prove to uh, enough dividend on the part of Dumpling King since you can just sometimes linger Bye. and send too far that ridiculous downward angle of that forward air setting too far for uh, Obese Park to make it back. Suddenly we've got a huge lead on a huge stage for a huge turtle. And, you, and that turtle wants to stay as close as possible. <laughs> and the Dumpling King is going to do his damnedest to get that space going. And just like that, boom, the up, uh, well, we start going in with the up tilt in order to get some things started here. And again, the thing is staying at 184% and counting, and finally, the big ol' uh, hand coming in and clutch. Dumpling King, however, only has 0%, second stock, uh, no and jump. you have, ooh, 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 we gotta go back to stage, hold on, calm no down, calm again. down. We go oh. for the high recovery, smart stuff. But you mentioned those platforms, Ma. Not only have they been helping uh, Dumpling King get back to the stage with that high recovery, they also have been helping him like find more reliable approach angles by being able to reach so high in the air despite uh, Bowser's jump only being okay. He's just taking advantage of things. Those full leaps and bounds straight forward into center stage, but in the corner here, no jump again, but gets back to ledge before Obese Far has the time. But not before that jump gets called out and completing the combo. Ram Ram Tilt into a Dragon Smash. 
perfectly played on the beast part to complete the edge guard and potentially take this game three. That was really good. That I can't. Really I cannot lie. Yeah, it's solid. Um, but that's also the benefit of Kalos. You could just do that, and you will in fact perish. However, Dumbling King is not, only not letting up. We are seeing not a little. I'm about to say not a lick of damage we'll on him. Again. But we're, we're, we have no jump. We got go fire recovery and a miss punish. We do see oh, what Dumbling King getting it back off of the invulnerability from the uppy or the armor from the uppy. That is super tough to get the reverse angle there from a beast part. Had the opportunity, no and instead in the scramble, the roll on into up tilt, just barely clipping Min Min's uh, punish. Min Min Min's hitbox. Nice. Big this punish is huge. there. And this the is huge. Trap. People, this is huge. We're Why is this so even? Why is this so close? It's Bowser Min Min. On paper, it seems annoying. It seems like it should be Min Min favored, but the way that Dunkin King is maintaining this close quarter space against someone like Min Min, who does not like that close quarter space, is so, so good. We're running up, going for the up to again. Trying to get that. I know, I know. Try to get the there, but we the back and we can't date it. We're so close to the very end of this game. Uh -oh. The very end of this set is another jump to the platform. Just bailing Dumbling King out again and again. There's another run in up tilt. Gets the sour spot though. So we're still a lot of you're dead the here. roll on. You're getting caught by the flying slam, but you're not. Oh. Kaos is a big old stage here, Martin. We see oh. the ledge trap scenario played out yet again with the get up attack. Getting through and, dump and Dumbling King is now the one on the back foot. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. What, what's your option here? Roll Go. in. Gets caught very narrowly, however. But Beastfire is off stage. Got a little bit too cheeky. And he gets missed, the up tail. He missed the fast fall after oh. that jump. Holy, let us oh. run back, back. Let's talk about a little bit how greedy Beastfire got right here. You jump all the way down. You air dodge to the ledge. And that's exactly the same timing as Dumpling King. One jumps up, one rolls. And we get the, re the fast recovery the roll option. All right, let's see it, right? Talk about so, it. You're an, so, you're an analyst. So Dumpling, both of them jump from ledge here, right? Like, they grab ledge at about the same time. Obese Fart does it early. Maybe he buffers a jump, so hence why this Nair comes out. But I have a feeling like you let the Nair rip early in order to catch it, but you buffer the fastball. Like, you are mashing down on the control stick. Like, get me down as fast as possible, so that way I can... A, take advantage of the auto-cancel frames, mm -hmm. and B, get back to center as soon as possible. Get your boots on the ground. Yes. And this roll on, like this this slow fall that came out on the part of Obese Fart. Oh, man, how close was that? The crouch. The crouch from the up tilt. It saved him. Literally. It actually saved him. Look at you. My man, low profile with up tilt. <laughs> Bowser with the hurt box shifting. Oh. We are ducking and weaving and clawing his way into losers' finals. Look at the precision. Look, that's literally pixels from his shell. Oh my that's god. That's nuts. That's so, so perfect. Obese Fart try, trying to. Look at that! Oh my god, the whole clip playing is actually crazier. He just weaves, the, the hand just weaves so perfectly to hit Mimit in the face while Mimit is trying to swing down. Oh my god, I'm sick.